just before I put the back wheel on it's not very clear but um, there's my four wave rectifier uh, replaced the original rectifier um, it's a very very dark at the moment here and um, I've got a motorcycle um, indicator unit beside it and a normal fuse on the side a amp this is an, a non-electric start px anyway so um, it's it's sophisticated but not it's um it's just one of them things where i did it for for a project basically and and uh, i've done it on um, the li which you saw in a previous video but you can just about make out that's a trail tech four wave rectifier uh, it was about 50 quid um, it's also got um, control so you can actually switch it on and off so you could put a key switch to it um, or a switch hidden somewhere so um, the lights etc wouldn't work um, because obviously they wouldn't know where the switch was or what it did um, you can also have it to to be switched on by different peripheral um, equipment accessories etc so um, to be honest with you mine is set to auto on because it doesn't seem to be worth switching it on and off you, you know you'd be going along not charging your battery and next minute you've got no lights so um, it won't stop you driving it because the ignition's still going but um, yeah that's I, I never really saw why they did that but somebody probably knows if you're a trial biker etc then drop me a line let me know right we're gonna have a look on the other side in a second right engine side <clears throat> this is for the uh, speedo tachograph also under there um, I don't really want to take the spark plug out at the moment but on the head of the spark plug in the cylinder head is a sensor which feeds back through um, a second wiring loom back up to the headset and also across here just moving a bit wobbly um, I've wired in my jag lights or indicators in this uh, situation um, normally they're fed from the little hole down there this hole um, I've got that disconnected um, I could have used um, that hole and continued to use it and just wired inside the the panels but I wanted to be able to just easily do it and know I've made a good connection they're not the greatest connection they're prone to um, going off with rust etc and getting a bad connection it's one of the things on a standard px where um, you do get a lot of um, indicators dropping out um, there's plenty of posts on uh, different not not just facebook but the vespa clubs all over the world saying you know i've got one indicator working and i haven't got the other one working um that's a place to check inside there the cables can fall off as well they've got a very small little push on connector on them um i have got one somewhere that i could probably show you um have i got one up there um like everything i can't locate it immediately but i have got uh spare i've got i do carry some spare parts like everybody um it's a wise precaution i've got spare cables um stator plates flywheels etc um as i said earlier this is an original exhaust that i got um weighs an absolute ton but as the engine's all standard like say i've got a new um it had piston slap on it so i've got a new piston and um cylinder put on there uh, i've still got the old one and i keep promising myself i'll, I'll uh, buy a piston and have it reboard and i'll get round to it someday it's still auto lube um, that's the auto lube feeding up there into the carburetor um, this pipe here i've never had a day's problem with auto lube so uh, i know a lot of people um, don't like it it's horses for courses um, I just find that, you know, Piaggio spent all that money and they wouldn't have put it on a bike that wouldn't work. So, um, as I say, it's a standard flywheel. Uh, the uh, I've noticed the chrome is starting to go. 
on the uh, flywheel cover there, which is a bit unfortunate. Back end, CDI, etc., are all standard, all standard connections there. The only difference is that I've got two yellows that feed up through the wiring loom into the housing there and feed through to the full wave rectifier on the opposite side. And I've done a few mods to the wiring up in the handlebars. Um, yeah, go up here. So that I've got lights, etc., that work and all that sort of stuff, iron low beam, etc. So, yeah, it's, uh, it does me. So, uh, 